Hi there, sorry about that. I didn't hear anyone come in. How are you doing today? Great. Well, welcome to the ASMR game store. I'm Shani. I'd love to help you out. Are you looking for anything special or just browsing? Oh, okay. So you wanted to return that PS4? Sure, that won't be a problem. Before I can accept it as a return, I do need to take a quick look at it. Just inspect it and make sure everything's okay. Is that going to be okay? Alright, good. So, were you looking for a store credit? Yeah. Alright. Let's just take a quick peek. Okay. I see we have some headphones here. And we have a game. I see the console, the cord to charge the controller, and the controller, but it looks like we're missing the power cord. Yeah. Did you leave it in your car or? Oh, okay. So you don't have it. Okay. Hmm. That makes a little bit of a problem for us. Typically, when we take returns for councils, well, we pretty much returns for anything, actually. We need to make sure we have everything from the original box. So, in this case, for the PS4, we need the council, the controller and cord, as well as the power cord, in order for me to accept it. Um, however, between you and me, I know someone came in earlier and returned a PS4, and they had two power cords, so I'll go ahead and I'll throw that cord in your box, but that'll be just between us, okay? Okay, our little secret. So we should be all set if it works. So let me just take a quick peek at it, make sure there's no physical damage, and then we can plug it in and give it a test. Okay? Alright. So the controller looks good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Buttons feel good. They don't feel sticky. You'd be surprised how many feel sticky. It's pretty gross. Alright. You haven't noticed any issues with this, have you? Like, issues with the battery life, or lagging in between buttons, or maybe issues with the headset jack charging? No? Yeah. Let's just take a quick look at this console, shall we? Yeah. I'm just looking for any physical damage here. Everything looks actually in really great condition. How long have you had it? Really? Wow. You took excellent care of it. Um, so you haven't noticed any issues with the actual console, no issues with like the disk drive, maybe with any of the ports, mm. any lagging, loud fans, red light of death, no? Okay, good. Well, I don't see anything to be concerned about, at least physically, so. Well, 
why don't we just get this all plugged in. I'll give it a quick test and if all goes well, next I'll just do a factory reboot. And that's just to make sure that all your personal information is off of the console, like your PSN account, any debit or credit card, any games you've downloaded. We'll just clear that off. It does take a little while for it to do the factory reboot. So while that's going on, I do still need you here. But if you want to kind of walk around, maybe window shop or browse the store, and I'll let you know when it's done. Sound good? Okay. I also see you have some headphones that I can test out, make sure they're working, as well as a game here. So let me get this all plugged in real quick. Okay. Turn it on. Alright, boot it up just fine. And let's see here. So, is there any game that you have downloaded here? Oh, you have Bioshock. That's my favorite game. Okay, let's just boot that up real quick and do a quick little test. Maybe an excuse for me to play it a little bit, but. Alright, our response seems to be good. So let me guess, you were joining it because you saw the PlayStation 5 trailer? Yeah, it did look really good. Though they don't have a release date set yet or a price, you know that, right? Yeah, you just want to put it in for store credit right now. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. Yeah, I've played this game a lot. I have like the whole thing memorized. Scripted all. Do you like Bioshock? Yeah. Which one's your favorite? I get everyone mad at me when they ask me because, honestly, I like the trilogy as a whole. It's kind of hard for me to pick one game, but when it comes down to it, I really like Infinite, which is like what everyone says is the worst one out of the three, but I don't know what it is about it. I really liked the music, I think, and like the style of like the city and the sky. But yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong with Rapture. That's a great one, too. Okay. Looks like it's working fine, so let me just exit out of that as much as I would want to keep playing it. Okay. And let's just turn that off. Okay. I hate that when they did the update, they moved, like, the menu for powering off the PS4. It's kind of tedious and annoying now. Okay. There we go. Alright. So. That all seemed to work well. Okay. Let me just pull up your account here. Do you have an account with us? Yeah? Okay. What is your name? First and last. Okay. I love that name. Nice to officially meet you. <laughs> okay. And your phone number on the account. Okay. And your 
email address at Yahoo. Does anyone even still use at Yahoo? Fair enough. And your address. Okay. And the city. I see your account right here. Did you want to renew your membership with us? It looks like it expired. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me just to roll that into the store credit and take it out of that? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Let me get the factory restart on this going. So, okay. So we're gonna let this run. It is going to take a while, like I said, but when it's done, we'll go ahead and just turn it on one more time and I'll test the headset with it. And then, if it's working fine, I'll go ahead and put that store credit into your account, okay? Okay. Okay. We got that going here. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the game. I see you brought Rock Band 4. Did you have any of the, like, drums or guitar or anything like that? You want to keep those? I just wanted to return this. Okay, not a problem. Let me just take a quick look at the disc. Also in excellent condition, just like the PS4. Let me see what it says here in my system for how much I can give you for a store credit. So. It looks like we have the game listed as $28 when we're selling it new. So for store credit, I can give you 12. Is that okay? Yeah, a little less than half, but it's actually pretty good for that game, so let me just add that to your account real fast. So you have store credit of $12 right now. Um, if this boots up correctly and we have no issues, it looks like I could give you... $200 store credit for the PS4. Okay? Great. Alright. So, I'll leave that here. And we'll just wait for that to reboot. If the headsets work, I can give you $20 store credit for those. Is that okay? Okay. 
So in total, if everything is up and working fine with no issues, it looks like we do about $232 store credit for the whole lot of everything. All right? Great. Okay. So let's just wait for that to finish its long reboot. Did you want to walk around or... Yeah, I would let you pre-order it, but like I said, they don't have a release date or even a price that's been out yet. I heard rumors that it's going to be released in like holiday of 2020, like November, around like Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And I've also read rumors online of it being like $4.99, but between you and me with everything that's included in that, I'm betting it's going to be at least $5.99. $4.99 seems way too low. I mean, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe $4.99 for the other console. They had two different models, you know, like the one with the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc player. And then they had the other model, which was a little thinner with no disc reader and it's for digital downloads. Yeah. Maybe that one would be $4.99, but but anyway, yeah, so we don't have pre-order yet, but if that's something you're interested in, you have your email under your account, so when we're offering pre-orders, you'll probably get an email that says that you can pre-order the PS5, and I would just follow the link in there, and you should be able to get it through us. If you want to use your store credit, it should be on your account, but you can always come in and see me, and I can help you, too. I am pretty excited to try it out, though. They had some pretty cool-looking games. I was most excited at first to see the new Spider-Man game. It looks like it's going to be its own standalone game with Miles Morales, which, being a huge Spider-Man buff, I was pretty excited to see. But I have to admit that Ghostwire game, the trailer for that, that made me feel things. <laughs> I think I'm actually most excited to try that game out. But, what game are you looking forward to? Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, that one looked really great too. I actually have a brother-in-law who is working on that game and doing the sound design. So I can't wait to try that out, too. But, let's see here. What game? Oh, I know, that game looked a little... Mm, I loved the Octodad or whatever game it was a while ago that they made, but the whole, like, what was it, food snacks or whatever? Looked a little, or bug snacks or whatever, looked a little weird to me, but you can never judge a game just off the trailer, I guess. Okay. One moment here, I'm just putting that into your account. Okay. How did you feel about the design of the PS5? I saw a lot of people on Twitter comparing it to, like, Stormtroopers and everything. I could see that, but personally, I think it looks really cool. I like that they didn't just go with, like, the standard black box that they did the last couple times. And anything, like, white and black like that, like Stormtrooper colors, I don't know, I think that looks really good. So, I'm kind of excited about it. And I like that it stands out, so... Like, next to all my other, like, speakers and my television and everything, it's going to be like, bam. I think it's kind of sleek, but to each their own. There's always going to be someone who doesn't like something, right? All right. I also saw that Annapurna Productions had, like, two different games going, which is surprising because I'm used to seeing them do, like, movies. I didn't know that they did video games. So, 
like this finished so it went a little bit quicker than I expected it to be but it looked like you had already cleared off most of your downloads anyway so let me turn it on and give it a little test okay and let me try out your headphones here All right, looks like it's coming back on fine. Headphones work. The left side seems a little quieter and I feel a little tape there, but I can still hear out of it, so it should be okay. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that works fine. Okay. Let me just turn that back off. Okay. Yeah, the left side was a little dull compared to the right sound, but... Hmm. It should be okay. I think I can still give you the full 20 for it. So. Okay. Yeah, I am really excited that the trailer said it had 3D audio because one of my favorite games to play is Hunt Showdown. It doesn't say it's going to be on the PS5 or anything, but that game had the binarial audio or surround sound audio or whatever where you could hear where monsters and stuff were coming from based on where they were next to you on the map. And the idea of just 3D audio was just so cool. So I can't wait to see what they do with the games in that. That Spider-Man game in 3D audio would be so awesome. But I definitely can't wait to see what it's like. Personally, I'm a PlayStation girl. Never really been a fan of Xbox. I know people get upset with me for it, but I know everyone says the Xbox controller is more user-friendly, but I don't think so. I'm just so easier for me to use the PlayStation controllers, and I don't know. I just like it a lot better. More user-friendly on my part, but maybe it's just me. Plus, I think the PS5 looks better than the new Xbox anyway, from what I've seen. So... Okay. All right, there we go. 232, and I'll just take the renewal of your account off of that. And it actually looks like your PSN account is about to expire too. Did you want to get a gift card to renew that too? Not yet, because you returned the PS4. That's fine. When you're ready to get it again, we can just help you out with that too. Okay. There you go. So, you're on our emailing list. You'll hear about when we're offering the pre-order. And like I said, you should be able to do it online. Or you can come in and talk to me and I'll help you out, okay? Okay. If you're returning your PS4 right now, what are you going to play in the meantime? Not your Switch. Yeah, I've been playing mine a lot, too. 
I loved Animal Crossing for the first few months in quarantine. And then, I don't know, I got a little busy and I stopped going to my island and I'm the kind of person who gets frustrated when I haven't visited in like a week. So I kind of stopped playing. What game are you into? Oh yeah? Yeah, that's fun too. I like a lot of the little games as well. If you've never played Tricky Towers, I highly recommend it. It's kind of like uh, Tetris, but I don't know. They have like different styles and it's fun. All right. Well, it was nice to meet you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call or I hope you get that pre-ordered when they put up the date. All right. Have a great day. Bye.